today I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy for EA FC 24. It's time to go! Or as most people still refer to it as, FIFA 24. New name, same old game. I mean, what what am I fucking meant to do in that situation, huh? EAFC 24 came out in September, and you're probably wondering why I haven't uploaded in over a month. That's because this game took over my life. Putting in almost 180 hours already and playing it nearly daily, this Platinum was full of rage and challenges. And the shot oh fuck off, it's the same shit. It's, it's the same as FIFA 23, why, why do I even bother? Honestly, why do I even bother? What is that? Like what, how are you supposed to prevent that? So, how did I get the Platinum? Well, there are 41 trophies and they can best be broken down into different game modes. First off, let's go through one of the game modes most FIFA players literally couldn't give a toss about, Volta. Luckily this year, there's been a few changes to Volta and leveling up is far easier than when it was introduced for the first time in FIFA 20. I actually played this game mode after playing the Pro Club's game mode, so I earned some experience points for both as they have crossover rewards. By playing one online match on Volta and winning, the trophy teamwork works can be done very quickly. And honestly, if it wasn't for any more trophies in this game mode, this is where I'd be leaving it. But after winning the game and earning some Volta coins, I earned the trophy Shop Till You Drop for purchasing an item using the Volta coins. We'll be coming back to this shop shortly for another trophy, just you wait. Next up in Volta is the short grind of reaching overall 90 with your player. And as no one actually wants to play this pretty boring game mode, like the last few FIFAs, the easiest way to get this trophy is to go into an offline Volta battles match on the hardest difficulty, score 5 own goals and repeat until you level up enough. Luckily this grind has been reduced since last FIFA, and although it's still boring, it can be done fairly quickly within about 15 minutes. Okay, so having just applied those skill points, we've hit level 90, so we should get the trophy. There it is, Volta's best. Reach 90 overall with your avatar in Volta Football. The final Volta trophy is one of the most vile trophies in any game I've ever gone for. There is probably worse games out there, but this trophy is just a blatant cash grab and it should be banned. You need to obtain 50 items from that Volta store, which equates to about 2 million Volta coins. Or, you could give EA your money and pay 1,000 FIFA points. So your options are basically, sit there and grind a shit game mode all year, or pay and get the trophy. And I think you can guess which one I chose. Full wardrobe, 50 vanity items in Volta. I am never gonna use any of them, but we've got the trophy. And with Volta being done for trophies, we move on to one of the staples of FIFA over the years, career mode. Career mode can be split into two sets of trophies, and first of all, we're gonna start with manager career mode. Nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna be doing the career mode trophies, um, and as much as I'd like to continue with Brentford career mode, which is a video I did back in the day, probably about 2016, it got 5k views, I'm not gonna be doing Brentford because I need an absolute elite level club to get elite agents for one of their trophies. So I'm probably gonna pick PSG. When I come to play career mode, I'll pick a team I actually wanna play with. Gary Smith is now the manager of PSG, um, and let's knock out these three trophies. The first career trophy I do unlock is the one mentioned earlier, Golden Generation. And this can very quickly be done by hiring an elite level coach for each department. And the way you do this is by matching the symbols next to the coaches. Honestly, it looks and sounds a lot more complicated than it is. So some more coaches have popped up, so I'm gonna hire them now and see if this fixes what I've been trying to do. And we should get a trophy if I've done it correctly. Golden Generation. Hire an expert level coach for each department in your club. Pretty easy, that one. One of the new features this year in Manager Career Mode is this tactical view. Honestly, I don't know why anyone would sit there and watch a full 90 minute game of the AI playing against itself, especially in this view, which might I add, isn't very good. But anyway, by jumping in and scoring a goal, we can unlock the second trophy. Sweaty goal to Mbapp. And an ace up your sleeve. But again, that's a very quick one. Career Mode trophies this year are really quick and easy, um, apart from the player career ones. And with that, the last trophy just needs us to read a pre-match report, do some training, and attend a press conference. Do your homework. And that is career mode done. That was incredibly easy. Um, I don't think there's been a career mode on FIFA that's been that quick. But now we're going to have to do player career mode. No! Oh god, player career mode. What a fuckery. So I spent ages making Big Phil. 
giving him the time and dedication he deserved. I even went training with him, only to discover I was stuck in an infinite glitch where he would forever be a left back and not the striker I selected. I even remade him again, to no avail. I made him at Luton Town. So there it was then, I had to pick a real life player and I decided to take Tayo Iwinyu to the very top. There are three trophies in player career mode as well, and one of them can be done instantly. This was where Big Phil was at least of some use to me. Yeah, so if I give him a face guard and a tattoo, uh, which we can just give him anything, that should be fine. When I hit advance, we get fashion icons straight away. And the other two are a grind, particularly Dazzling Personality, which returns again from last FIFA. My method was simple, play on the easiest difficulty, score a hat trick, and simulate the rest of the game. I did this all season long until Tayo Iwinyi amassed 128 goals in 38 games. Take that, Haaland. Following this, I secured a move to Bayern Munich, working towards the other trophy, where you have to follow your agent's advice to transfer twice during career mode. And then, a little birdie by the name of Seg informed me that my grinding days would be over. There was a glitch still working to instantly get this trophy, and as far as I'm aware, when this video releases, it's still available. So I could either play 100 more games, or pop it instantly. And you bet your ass I'm taking that glitch to save me some extra hours. Oh my god, it's worked. Dazzling personality. After that trophy and having already been halfway through the Bayern Munich season, I just needed to simulate to the very end. And a transfer to my beloved Chelsea would earn me the final career mode trophy. Follow your agent's team recommendation twice during the same player career, and that should be player career completely done, thank god. With career mode finished, let's knock out some nice and easy miscellaneous trophies. Three quick trophies can be done by winning the Men's Champions League, the Women's Champions League, and playing a women's international match. By having a second controller and changing the settings to golden goal, and then winning five times, you can easily earn the trophy best of five. And by using a new feature called precision shooting, you also gain a trophy. The same can be said for the Surgical Aim Trophy, which requires 25 precision passes. And now we're on to the good stuff. The real juice of why people buy FIFA every year. Ultimate Team. A quick summary for those who don't know, it's full of anger, microtransactions and toxicity, but we still love to play it every year. In regards to the trophies, some can be done very quickly and then some can be quite a grind. To start with, let's get some of the easy ones. Squad building completionists can be obtained by completing your first SBC, and then a new feature to FIFA this year is Evolutions, or Evos for short. My first Evolution player was Kurt Zuma, and all I needed to do was upgrade him and play some offline squad battles games for two trophies. By going into my first game with both men and women in the team, I earned another trophy. Power shot. First goal with a power shot. Two games later, I earned level up for evolving the cat kicker once, and another two games later, the evolution was fully completed and graduation day was obtained. On day one of FIFA, I quickly realized there was an evolution for a bronze player that would fit my team, and he looked very good. The only problem was he was almost impossible to buy. His name was Kobe Mainu. And if you've played this year, you know exactly who I'm talking about. I spent 20 minutes trying to snipe him until I finally got him. The reason this is relevant is because he's one of my favorite players this year and is now currently an 85 rated player in my team with 400 games on him. There's a trophy for playing 200 games with a player and this is one of the latter trophies I'll be getting. But first, back to the easier ones. Keeping 10 clean sheets in squad battles earned me defensive masterclass and then it was time for some squad management. Oh, we've got the alchemist. Okay, so that is four. Building a squad with 33 chemistry so every player is on full chem. Um, and since we got that, we may as well, because I'm about to go into a rivals game. Uh, let's just quickly make any custom tactics. Like, all I can change is that to probably not drop back. Uh, let's do fast build up and we save changes and we get, trust me, I'm a manager as well. Two trophies very quick back to back. And this is the team I'm going to be running in uh, my first Division Rivals game. Very soon, I'm going to be getting rid of Endo. He's only there temporarily, but the rest of the team is pretty solid. So hopefully we can get some decent wins and let's see how it goes. So, Rivals is where a big chunk of the time for this game goes, as you need to finish 90 games to get the trophy, Season Veteran. But before then, I earned some trophies from moments. By scoring a free kick and completing my first moment, I earned two trophies at once. It's gone in. Dead ball specialist for score a goal from a free kick. Boom, one moment please, complete a moment. Randomly, this trophy popped after completing a moment. I still have no explanation as to why it popped here. And then for winning a penalty shootout without missing, I earned intuition and execution. On my way to 90 rivals games, I packed some pretty important staples of the team. In Dembele, Rashford, 
and I also completed the SBC to get Bruno Guimaraes. All three players are still on my team to this day and they were some of my best pulls. Eventually, I qualify for Champions, which is where I spend most of my Fridays to Sundays screaming at the game. And by scoring a power shot with Rashford, I earned a trophy, Playstyles Plus, which is another new feature this year. When people ask why do you buy FIFA each year, for us who dump hundreds if not thousands of hours into the game, these changes make a huge difference. 90 games later, in Rivals, finally, seasoned veteran had popped, and then it was time for Kobe My News 200th game. So. As you can see, I am on game 199 out of 200 with Kobe Mainu. After this game, with don't worry about the team, it's just for an objective, I will get the trophy for 200 games with one player. So let's go get this done. Record breaker, reached 200 club appearances with a football player in Ultimate Team. Lovely jubbly. The final Ultimate Team trophy was one I had to wait another two weeks to obtain, and that was end of the line for reaching the maximum level in a season which in the first season was level 40. But this wouldn't be the last trophy I would be waiting to get. Speaking of, that is us done with Ultimate Team, but let's move on to the hilarious nightmare that is Clubs. Clubs has some very easy trophies and some that are a nightmare. However, it would have been far worse had there not been workarounds. Starting with the easy, Completing training and achieving an A grade earns you your first trophy. By playing a game and winning your first league match, you earn another trophy. And trust me, you'll need to win many more of these if you're going for the platinum without boosting. Pro Clubs definitely has some highs with some screamers. Yes, Can he convert? Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it, isn't it? Some goals where you just pop up at the right place, right time. And some moments, well, I'll let you decide about this one. Oh, fuck off. Actually, what is, like, seriously, what is the point? What is the fucking point? Getting promoted up a division for the first time earns a trophy, we're going up. This can be a bit dodgy, because if the opponent quits before the game's finished, it doesn't pop it. By reaching level 7 in Volta slash clubs, you earn the trophy on the way up, and then we're getting into the grind now. Once again, a little birdie told me about a club called Club 13, or X triple I for the actual name. If you join this club and then restart your game, you instantly pop the trophy, Campiones, which would extend this platinum by another week or so. Thankfully, I managed to get a spot thanks to Seg, so go show some support on his video too. And with that, the trophy I was worried about was mine. But my worries would not end there. The trophy top of the pyramid requires you to reach elite division in clubs. And as a group, we managed to get to Division 1 with no luck of getting to Elite in the promotion games. Thankfully, there was another boosting method for this. And yes, it is cheap. Yes, I didn't actually deserve to reach Elite Division, but a trophy where you're relying on other players' skill, as well as your own, and having to deal with some general EA bullshit shouldn't be in the game. So, we found two clubs in Division 1, and thanks to some lovely members from the Platinum Jangas server, we managed to get the trophy, top of the pyramid. You'd think the horrors would end there, but you'd be mistaken. I love a late night. I love having a lion. But if I was going to try and get first Platinum in the world, I'd have to be up at 6.30am for a 7am start, with Seg, for the next trophy. So there I was. The season ended, and five weeks after the game released, it all came down to this. The trophy in question simply required us to win a playoffs game, as the trophy Campiones had already been attained. And, well, it didn't quite go to plan. We took the lead with a fantastic header from Segi, but very quickly it all crumbled and we lost 2-1, giving the top three people on the leaderboards currently their spot. Thankfully, we won the next game, and at the time of recording this, I got 15th first in the world, with Seg beating me by a second in 14th prick. Annoyingly, the trophy didn't show up, but a trophy did pop, along with the platinum, earning me my 193rd and bringing an end to a five-week grind. Thanks to everyone on screen who made the video possible, and a huge thank you to my channel member, Milk the Cow. You're a real one. Leave a like if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, and click on the screen for another video by myself.